Good evening, everyone. Graybeard here. Today we're going to work on a 2002 Chevy Trailblazer starter ignition switch. And it's the same as all the way up to 2006. Oh, this way you will know all the steps you will have to do. This hope this is a how-to video. Hopefully this helps you. Let's dig right in. All right. First step we're going to do. Raise the tilt wheel all the way up. Grab this lever. And we're going to grab a hold of it firmly. Pull it straight out like that. We'll lay it up out of the way. Now, what you want to do, hopefully you can see that. Get this tripod set up. And move the light. All right, right here is the column. So, want to try to grab this, pull down, right here, where that's loose, then you want to do the other side, and there's a tab on each corner on the back here <clears throat> also I wanted to mention there's usually two screws on it here that you want to make sure you take out before you do this so also I decided let's drop this grab here and pull it down enough that's way you can get your hands on her and grab a hold of it push in the bottom corners to release it's pretty snug so it's going to take some work Alrighty, now once we got it loose, make sure when you do it, when you drop the bottom, you want to pull back on it, and then pull it out. And here's the two tabs right here I was telling you about the screw holes. You got one right here, and one right here. So always, when you flip it over, it'll look like this, and one right here. Forget this hole. You don't need that one. There's, see, as you can see, it's just a clear hold and nothing to grab a hold of. So, right over here, here's your ignition switch right here. And of course, you got a plug here, and you have two tabs, one on each side, that you will have to push in to drop it. So, let's get started. Also, this wire right here, there's a little clip. You gotta get that wire out. So we gotta undo that wire. Right here. You need to pull it out. Alright, now with the wire loose, take a small screwdriver, screwdriver, like I said, to pop this loose. And then it's loose right there, as you can see. But we got this wiring harness that plugs in right here. So what you want to do, take a screwdriver. Hopefully you can see. You want to pop it in on this side. And I think this screwdriver that I have is too big so bear with me and I will get another one all right I got the wire on done let's pop her out straight down like that and of course it's all 
out and hit the ground. So it looks just like this. It's got the little gears and it plugs like that. So let's go ahead and get the new part and I'll show you the next step what we need to do. All right, here's a new one and it has the gray backing as you can see right there on the left. As you can see, the gear's on top. So we need to take the left one and move it over. So what you want to do is line these gears up. So this one right here. So now we're taking this one. About, you want them to look the same. About to there. And this one, as you can see how far it went. So that you want that one about the same as the other one right here. So you got to go here a bit more about right there. So now we can shove this sucker back in. Plug her in and everything. All right. We're going to take this thing. Stick it up in here. This is your plug, so you want to try to get it in before you lock it all the way up in. Everything's real tight. There we go. Go ahead and snap it. Push that up in. We'll make sure this is in. Looks like it is. We'll take a screwdriver right here, push on the back. There, you could hear that pop. So you know it's in. So this is up. Now we got this wire right here to try to get back in that groove. So it's gonna take some work here because everything's real tight. All right. Now it's back in here, and this is all back together. All we do, go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, pop our cover back on. Line her all up, because also you want to make sure you uh, line these tabs right here up real good. Make sure you don't bend them. So line everything back up like so. And this ring right here will fit underneath into your steering column. So, first, try to pop that up in, like so. Got this corner. There. See, that's all popped back in. Now we can take this panel, there, all back together. And we have just changed your ignition switch. So we take your key. Oh yeah, forgot. You need to take your tilt wheel lever you always want the smaller end up and the big end down so we're going to take it and there's a groove here and it pops back in so now you can tilt your wheel up and down as you can see like so sorry about that so we should be able to, of course it won't start because I got the battery unhooked. So we'll see what happens. All right, moment of truth. I'll try a starter. All righty, working just fine. And then when we shut her off, you also want to make sure you're when you open the doors, your power's off. 
you don't want no draining or whatsoever. So there you go. Well, I hope that helped everyone. Sorry, it was a little shaky as I was working on everything. But I got the part in okay. It seems to work fine. Thanks for watching. And remember, God bless. And you all have a wonderful day.